I hope you enjoyed that ride down Fifth Avenue. You can see St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Cathedral behind me. We're on 5th and 52nd, and I'm going into Elizabeth Arden to have a pedicure today. I wish it was still on the old location because it was really cool. It was a further blocks up the street on 5th Avenue, and it literally, because this is the Red Door Salon, because the door was painted red, they had the whole, um, like, five floors of a very narrow building. But now it's just in a, in a building over here. Up. Can't see because of the bus. So it's not too much to look at from the outside. But it's really cool on the inside. Hopefully they'll let me take. So we're going right over there. They no longer have the really cool high lacquered red door that was on the townhouse. But there's a replica of it on the side of the building. And up we go to the eighth floor. Koosh. This is the part where the area where the, some of the treatment rooms are, so we have to be quiet. And then we're gonna go into the relaxation room back here and wait until we're called for our appointment. It's really pretty in here, nice and relaxing. I guess I'm the only one back here right now. It is the middle of a work day. And you can see they even have some lounges with some really comfy blankets. So if you want to relax after your massage or anything. Some reading material. It's very nice here. I've actually fallen asleep sitting in here because it's just so lovely and the, with the heavy drapes and it blocks like Fifth Avenue is right out, outside those windows but you can't hear anything. It's just really lovely here. Okay, I'm gonna do a little chillaxing while I wait for uh, my appointment. So here's the final product from my Disney pedicure. She made it. My toes look like Minnie Mouse, and I love it. Awesome! Hey, everyone. Well, I'm done. And I'm sorry, but I was not able to film once I got into the treatment room. So I don't have any, any footage of that to show you. I really wanted to show you the chair. It's really cool because it's not like the typical kind of pedicure chair where you have to step up. It's this really oversized, comfy black leather chair. You sit down and then she slides the chair back. And then in front of you is then the, the sink where you put your feet. So there's no climbing up or climbing down. It's really, it's really great. I'm on 57th Street, almost to Madison. We're heading to my last doctor appointment at 4.30. And I'm meeting Chewy there. He just came from the eye doctor. And afterwards, we're going to take you to dinner at his old restaurant, Rosa Mexicano, where he was a general manager. There's three locations here in the city, but this is our favorite, it's the original. It opened in 1984-85. It's a good thing the coach store behind me stopped selling the special Disney wallets and backpacks because I would seriously be tempted to go in and get one of those. As I said, there's the Four Seasons. And in the Yankee Stadium vlog, I panned to the skyline where it showed the Chrysler Building and the Empire State Building. And in the center, there was this really tall, slender, multi, multi-million dollar apartment building. Well, here is said building. It goes up and up and up. Yeah, I went to the website and looked at some of the models and yeah, in my dreams could I ever afford that. Unless I hit the lotto and you never know. I didn't mention it earlier, I forgot. 
what a difference 24 hours makes because today the weather cannot be more lovely. It's, I'm thinking it's in the mid to upper 70s. I haven't checked in a while. That's what it was forecasted to be. The humidity has dropped. There's a, a nice breeze. It really is lovely. You can see down Park Avenue behind me is the MetLife building, which I believe it just recently, the name has changed, or no, it's the logo. They have a new logo. I don't think that's the, the new one yet. And just a quick look then up Park. All the uh, fancy apartment buildings were, always makes me think of the, the book Bonfire of the Vanities and how he lived on Park Avenue and he had to pay all this maintenance fee and all this stuff for all, usually there's, well they're not in bloom now, but usually there's tulips or roses or something in bloom on all the, the little boulevard areas behind me and he would be kind of angry at them whenever he walked by them knowing how much money he was paying in his maintenance fee to have all those flowers there. So it always kind of makes me laugh when I see that. Here we are at Rosa Mexicano. Behind me is First Avenue. And this street here is 58th Street. I always have loved the, their metal, the designs here. And then they have this beautiful wooden door. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to Rosa Mexicano. This is one of my favorite restaurants and also the restaurant that I used to work here. So, you were the general manager for five years. Yes, I was. And now I'm just coming here because I still enjoy the food because Nacho, the chef, is still here. And I like this cooking. This I'm going to show you the menu. Yeah. Can, can you hold it up still? like that? No, you were fine. You can also go online. One of our favorites, they changed the name. We still call it by the old name. It's the Boudin de Pollo right here. It's probably our favorite thing. Here we go. It's only 5.30, so there's not, in a couple hours, this place will be hopping. They make fresh tortillas back there. Is that your lady making fresh yeah. tortillas? And there's a room back there in the back. And we came in actually over in there where the bar is on the other side of this wall. We love eating here. I think we have agreed on splitting an order of guacamole. And the guacamole that Chewie made in the very first video, or introduction video, that's the recipe for, for here at Rosa Mexicana. So we're gonna split an order of that. And are we gonna, and here's Hola, Chavo. Do you wanna be on our vlog? Yeah. Or no? You wanna be on film or no? No. no okay, no, no, no. I'll cut it up. What, what kind of film? It's on YouTube. We oh yeah? Have, we have a vlog. Let's go around and take. Oh, they, they, what, you film? Yeah. Because they make a movie over there. I, I seen you talk about the movie in, in, the, other, in the street. They make a special, they make No, a está hablando de otros, tenemos un Yeah, 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 okay, of course, yeah, you sure, sure. Yeah. You want more, you want to pay me? We're just going to order guacamole, and I think we're going to get and split an order of queso fundido con camarones. And then we haven't decided quite yet on our entree, but we'll be back to let you know what we ordered. Hello, how are you today? Bienvenido, welcome to Los Mexicano. Okay, good to see you again, señores. Chamo, how long yeah. have you been? You've been here a long time. Uh, yes, and this you like the 26, I want to complete 30 years. Bravo, bravo. Yeah, 30 years in the restaurant. Yeah. He's a wonderful server. Thank you very much. Thank you for your From time. Venezuela. Okay, I'm yeah. from Venezuela, Caracas. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I, um, are we going to get the filet con hongos? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're going to split the filet con hongos. These are pretty fabulous. The sauce is a cream, um, it's a filet mignon. And then the sauce is cream and tequila with mushrooms, probably some other stuff, I don't know. But it is, it's 
fair and yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, we're gonna have to enjoy our meal. I really like the plates here. And they make these fresh every day. And Chewy, can you explain the um this is so yummy. Is that the system? It's a norteña sauce, norteña. Which, which, which people may not know what that means. With tomatillos, no, tomatillo. Tomato, yeah, tomato, garlic, jalapenos, and onions. Our friend over here, look at, oh, you can't see them down at the bottom. The light's not good. Look at all the mocajetes. This is the place that invented tableside guacamole. Back in 1984, the founder, Josephina Howard. Josephina Howard. And I remember there was a Martha Stewart episode in 1985, and Martha came in and the two of them made this guacamole. And now everyone copies it, but this was the original. These tortillas just came off the grill. They're really good. One of the things I remember the most, and it stuck to my mind, is when Diane brought, when I came to this country, and Diane brought me here, because she didn't want me to feel lonely because I was out of Mexico, she brought me to Rosa Mexicana, and the food was amazing here. And most of the stuff that is here, I still know because they still work in here, so. It's a good, it's a good place, it's a good place in my heart when I was working here, because I enjoy working here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, well, you came into the country on a Wednesday. And the next day was my birthday. And we came here, right? We came here on my birthday. But I, I thought if he had some really good Mexican food, he wouldn't feel so sad. Because, you know, he was going to have to be out of Mexico for like 18 months because he came in on a K-1 visa. We can talk about that in, a, in another video if anyone's interested. The queso fundido has arrived. As good as this is, we freely admit, and as, um, as much as we love this restaurant that we are in right now, we will freely admit that it was the queso fundido at Toloache was a little, a little better, yeah, or a lot better. All right, look at all that gooiness. We are sharing the filet con hongos, which I don't know, I think that they must have added a little extra because these are two mighty big, put here's my hand for comparison. Yeah, they add a little bit more. Okay. More okay, the filet de con hongos is filet mignon, uh, sliced like a little, like medallions. And uh, what they do is they cook the mushrooms with tequila, cilantro, pasote, and jalapenos. They reduce the mushrooms until they cook completely so they can lose the water. Then what it does, when it's time to cook the steak, they sear the steak, whatever the one they guess wanted, medium, well done, whatever they wanted. And then when the steak starts losing the, the, uh, the blood that is on the steak, they pour the crema descremada, which is a Mexican cream, which is mixed between sweet and sour. If you buy heavy cream, it's it's, it's not, not exactly the same. The closest thing, I, I couldn't figure out what he kept telling me about, because it's used in something else that he loves. It's in a can, like evaporated milk, but... Leche descremada. Yeah, and it's in Spanish. It's not... Like, I don't think I've ever seen it at a regular grocery store. We get it in the Latino grocery store. It's divine. And then they cook it, and then they sat it with the steak and everything, and this this is what it comes to. We're going to share the vlog. We've shared everything tonight. And it works out perfect for us. It's, it's just the right amount of food. And we leave here not too full. Hey guys, we 
here again at Pin 71, having some glass of wine and some cheese and meats. This is my friend's place that I know it for a long time. I hope you enjoy. We're on Columbus Avenue at 71st. And in case you didn't catch it, it's been, Chewy says it a little differently, been, like a wine bin, B-I-N, 71. You are drinking what? Pinot Noir. And I have a Tempranillo. Here's our wine. And then this lovely thing. It's a wonderful night. It's nice and cool. And we're just enjoying not having to get up and go to work the next day as we continue to celebrate day three of our staycation. So we'll see you in a little bit. We had a wonderful day. The weather was good. Got a lot accomplished. I don't know, it just felt like it was a really long day. A lot of eating and a lot of drinking. We didn't really eat that much. I had two hard boiled eggs this morning at like 11 o'clock before I headed out. I had my pedicure and then I'm, we met at Dr. Kulik's office and we shared everything at dinner. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't a whole lot. Well, until we got to bin 71 and then we had a, a cheese plate and t I had two, two, not quite two glasses of wine, which is why I fell asleep on the couch and have such lovely hair. <laughs> Sorry. I was actually trying to like be on my phone while I was laying sideways on the couch and I fell asleep and the phone like fell on my face. So yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> so today is day three. Oh yeah, our, staycation our day staycation. three. staycation. So I hope you like our adventure today, which it was fun and we both enjoyed it. It was like really, really like nice. Yeah. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy and enjoy what coming along with us. Coming along with us and uh, we'll see you next time. What's well, on the game plan for tomorrow? Oh we're going to the botanical garden. Day four on the botanical <laughs> garden, and uh, we're gonna enjoy some sort of sculptures from this guy who does the Chuli guy. Chuli guy who does. Oh, that amazing. wasn't very nice to say, Mr. Chuli. All right. Well, thanks again for spending the day with us, and until tomorrow, Koosh. Ko See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>